Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to talk about how do you do a VLOOKUP uh, Excel style VLOOKUP in JavaScript or TypeScript. Um, so I use TypeScript here. So first, you for the value lookup, so you just look up the values straight without looking at any the numeric intervals. It's super simple. You create a class with two vectors. The first vector is the values you want to look up. Uh, here it is the English letters A, B, and C, lowercase. And the next vector is the values you want to look up, is the result. Yeah, I use one, two, three. In the first function, lookup one, just use the index of function of the array. So from the index of the uh, lookup value array, you'll find the value x. Yeah, because you're looking up the value straight. Uh, you find the index, then you pass that index to the square bracket operator of this uh, lookup result array, and then you will get uh, the lookup result. In order to look up a vector values, you simply just use the map function from the array and return those uh, looked up values by calling this lookup one. So it's super, super easy. As you can see the example, um, if I execute it, I will produce result 2 and 3 because uh, the values B and C corresponds to values 2 and 3. So just a, a simple function. Um, use the index of, use the map function, use the square bracket, and you're all set. Um, this is the lookup uh, by value. Now another example is lookup by value, but this time instead of looking up the exact value, we have an um, sorted array of numeric values you want to look up in, in interval so which interval does this value x belong to um, so here the class is also very simple we have the first column lookup values now they are a sorted vector of numbers you have to be sorted yeah that's very important a second vector is whatever value you want to look up so if you look at the example the values are one two three four five and uh, the results are a b c d e so if past the value 3.5 i should get the letter c yeah so this is also using the uh, lower bound lookup. So if x is less than uh, the upper bound and greater or equal than the lower bound, then you return the value corresponds to the lower bound. So if x is 3.5, you return the c instead of d. Yeah. So use the lower bound and it is closed on the lower side. So if it's greater than or equal to 3 but less than 4. Uh, when you do this kind of lookup, you have to use the the rules like this open on one end, close on the other end. Otherwise, you will get a problem. Yeah, because their single value can satisfy both conditions. So you, you should make sure that your lookup rule has no overlap. Okay, so here uh, look one is slightly more complicated than the previous example. So I use the find function of the array. So the find function of the array uh, takes three arguments. So the, the the other two arguments are optional. So the first argument is a value. Uh, the second argument is index of that value, and the third argument is the array itself. So if this value is equal to x, because you want to find x, so the, if the x happens to be the lower bound, or x is sandwiched between the lower bound and the upper bound. So to get the upper bound, I use the array with index plus 1. So um, if it's equal to lower bound or sandwiched between lower and upper bound, then I would return this uh, lower bound, which is the value. And then based on this value, I just play the same trick. Use index of find the index of the value in the lookup value vector, and then use that uh, index as arguments in the lookup results vector, identical to the previous example. So here, remember the find function. Uh, I use this mathematical condition, and then use the index of. So fairly simple. And this is second function lookup of vectors, identical to the previous example. Just uh, use the map function of the array. So here, let's execute this code, and you will see that uh, uh, it will return a and d. Why? 1.5 is sandwiched between 1 and 2, and we use the uh, lower bound rule. So one uh, letter a is returned, and 4 is exactly equal to d, yeah, the lower bound. So d is returned. So these are two examples of VLOOKUP in Excel. And of course, if we, you're dealing with a sorted array of values, like this lookup values in the second example, uh, interval lookup, you can construct your own algorithm. Like, look, checking the middle number first. Hey, am I right in the middle? If not, I can eliminate half of the data. If I have like 50 million values in rows, and that algorithm should save you a lot of time. Uh, instead of using the find function. But for most applications, I think the find function is efficient enough. You don't have to uh, write your own code because you're only look, looking up like a, a few values, like 100, a million, or 10,000. I don't think the performance difference will uh, be that significant, especially for uh, for front-end development. I think, uh, yeah, you, your not server does not have a lot of load. So um, I think this is should be okay. So this, this is the find function. It's very simple to, to look up an interval value. 
Okay, that's it. Thank you.